Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I created this warm brown smoky eye. Um, not a lot of shimmer going on except for the highlight as usual. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe. Hit that little red button right below this video. Um, but yeah, let's jump right on into it. Okay guys, so today we are getting started with the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This stuff is the best. I use it every day, basically. Okay, so now we are going in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and my trusty beauty blender. I love this foundation. Gives beautiful medium coverage. You can build it up if you need to, um, but it doesn't like make my freckles look weird and I love that. Side note, my face was super red at the beginning of this video because I just did a face mask. Anyways, moving on. And now going in with my two favorite concealers. I use the Born This Way and the Under Eyes as well as the Shape Tape. They have two different colors. I have two different colors in them, but I just love both of them and they just do an amazing job together, so I use them together. If you've seen my previous videos, um, you know that I do that. And we just blend in that out with my Beauty Blender, which is favorite thing in the world. And now we're going to set the concealer as well as other parts of my face with the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. This stuff is the best. Um, I'm obsessed with it. Not too drying. Perfect finish. Looks great on everybody's skin. Um, but yeah. And now we're going in with the Shadow Insurance by Too Faced, priming my eyelids, and then I set it with the Laura Mercier powder as well. And I'm obsessing over my cat, like usual. Now on to the fun part. I'm starting off with Raw Sienna in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and taking that into my crease as my transition color. Um, this does show up really, really warm on me. It is a warmer color, but I think it's stunning. And yep, there we go, zooming y'all in. So yeah, using that raw sienna color and then afterwards I go in with red ochre to deepen the crease and also add a little bit more warmth. Um, so yeah, I just deepen that up pretty good and then I do blend it out as well. Um, make sure that there are no harsh lines and nothing like that. All right, next going into the Master Palette by Mario. Um, I'm taking Violetta and using that as the brown all over the lid. So I just make sure to pack that on in all the areas and then blend it out real good after I've got it all over the lid. Just from my own personal experience, blending is the key to a good smoky eye. Next, I'm going in with that raw sienna shade and bringing that along the lower lash line as well as red ochre just to blend this smokiness of the eye look down to the lower lash line. Going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe, first I brush them out. And then I underline my brows and then I line the top as well and then I go in and fill them. Uh, so this is just like my typical brow routine. It's just what works for me. I don't have a lot of brow hair so I do have to make up for a lot of sparse areas. Using the Brow Gal Brow Gel to keep those brows in place and then I am taking the High Brow by Benefit to highlight that brow bone and give it some glow. I'm using the Mega Protein Waterproof Mascara just to give my lower lashes some color. And then I am taking Tempura, I believe that's what it's called, and just setting the highlight shade. Now going in with the Tarte Bronzer and Park Avenue Princess, I am warming up the face. I really love this bronzer. It just has like a beautiful sheen to it and just gives such a natural finish. And to contour, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and sculpting out those cheekbones or lack thereof. <laughs> yeah. And the jawbone. Gotta, gotta sculpt that out as well. And then I'm just doing a little bit of nose contour before I go in with my blush. 
I'm using the shade Exposed by Tarte. Uh, I love, this was like my first high end blush and I'm obsessed, okay? It's like the best color ever. So neutral and so gorgeous. Funny story, this Tarte highlighter is also called Exposed, except for it's called the Exposed Highlight. It's more subtle than some of the other highlights I have, but it's beautiful, and it's just this beautiful, beautiful, subtle gold, and I love it. Just taking that highbrow pencil and just highlighting the inner corners, and then taking my highlighter and highlighting the inner corners as well, and then using my favorite Mario Badescu facial spray, the Aloe and Rose Water. Love it! Okay, now taking this Smashbox, their new liquid lipsticks. I absolutely adore this formula because it is not too drying. It doesn't crack on my lips. It's like amazing. Um, anyways, this color is called In Demand and it's like a warm nude and I love it. And here is the final look. I am obsessed with it. I love it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that little red button right below this video. Hit that. Anyways, um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.